Hey Libra, welcome to your January 2022 money career and business tarot reading with me, Stella Wild. So my name is Stella Wild, and it is my uh, mission to give you the intuitive information you need to manifest your wildest dreams. So welcome to the channel or welcome back. Before we get into your reading, I would just like to make you aware of my brand new 2022 year ahead money career and business tarot reading just for your sign it is epic they are running between 40 and 50 minutes long i break it down into your wealth code for the year ahead i deep dive with a very uh, interesting tarot reading spread and then we also pull a business oracle card for you so check it out i'll leave a link in the description and also as the first pinned comment under the video all right let's get into your reading All right, Libra, let's start with your prosperity possibilities for January 2022. Wow, can you believe it's a new year already? All right, Libras, let's see what we have for you. Prosperity possibilities, the Six of Swords and the Seven of Coins, okay? And the Two of Wands. I'm going to pull another one. And the Two of Swords. Okay, we need one more and the hermit all right so we got some virgo energy going on here okay so you are in the process i think libra of making two decisions for your money career and business life um so you may make one this month in aquarius season because of the air sign energy that's showing up here uh, the next one may evolve in Aries season. And I think the second decision is going to be connected to the first one. Uh, and it's like a continuation of the plan, in other words. And it's actually going to be a bigger door that opens. It's like you open one door and then you're going to open another one. Um, but the, the key here is we are in a reassessment moment with where you're heading next with whatever money, career, and business goals you are working on in your life. You are leaving behind. You're starting out the year great. You're leaving behind, uh, you know, something that maybe has been weighing on your mind and you're ready to kind of refocus and regroup with your energies with the seven of coins here. So... There is something on the horizon with this two of wands here. Uh, the, the key you will discover to that particular door, as I said. Uh, but first, I think we're in a little bit of a reassessment, a little bit of a cleanup operation, so to speak. And um, you may be spending some time on your own this month following your inner guidance to just uh, put the first phase of this plan in motion for yourself. And I think the first phase really involves that reevaluation. You got to know where you want to go before you can get there. And that's kind of what I'm feeling. But the important thing is you have cleared something up in your mind, which is great. But now I think what we need this month to focus in on and make the decision about are the actual action steps you're going to take moving forward. So I hope this is making sense. Like I said, it's like you're going to have the two, the two decisions. So the first decision this month is reassess what's important to you with your money, career, and business goals. What do you want to create in 2022? It's interesting we have two twos here, right? So 22, <laughs> we have them right next to each other. Uh, there is something about going within and really getting that inner clarity, the inner spiritual clarity. This is interesting too, because it's Virgo. That is your subconscious mind. That's your 12th house if you have Libra rising. So it is about really tuning into the depths of your soul, of your being, of your subconscious to really, as I said, figure out the next movements forward for yourself in practical terms, Virgo, very practical step-by-step -step terms which is what the two of wands can be. You know, the key is going to be your action plan. So this month, put together your action plan. So then it's a great time to do that because Venus is retrograde and Mercury is also retrograde as of the middle of the month. So put your plans, you know, in some sort of concrete form 
and get ready to take action on them. I think it's interesting. We also have, like I said, we have the Aquarian energy showing up here. Get ready to take action on them probably by the second week of February here. So, you know, I'm always about using the energies. Timing is everything. Why fight against certain energies that are, you know, going on? And especially if we're having two major retrograde periods happen in January, um, and both of those energies, Venus and Mercury, rule daily commerce, daily life, daily business, uh, it is a good time to revamp and re-strategize what you want to do, which is what this energy is suggesting to me. So, you know, there'll be plenty of time to make a lot of for forward progress on your goals. Right now, tune into that seven of coins energy. How are you going to get to your 10 of coins in the year ahead, Libra? What are you going to do to unlock your treasure chest? But this is the key. I'm glad to see the six of swords here because it suggests to me your mind is clear and free to also maybe think outside the box a little bit and dream big for some exciting possibilities for your year ahead. I feel like you're not being held back by, uh, you know, some things that may have been bothering you maybe toward the end of 2021. All right, let's tune in with your wild card factor and see what is supporting you or energies that you need to kind of uh, deal with in the month of head. All right, this is a very good month for planning and strategizing and looking at details for your plan, the Virgo. Oh, look at this. We have the moon in Capricorn, practicality. Wow, okay. And the number 10 that is showing up here. So the 10th of the month may be important for you, Libra. Um, interesting also because Capricorn represents your fourth house of foundation, home, family, roots, what nourishes you, what feeds you. So this may in fact involve some sort of plan also for the foundation of your life, where you're living, how you're living, who you're living with. So there may be some things to really, uh, you know, get in place, you know, planning, like I said, for, you know, for those particular areas of your life. Um, but again, the moon in Capricorn, it is about practicality. How do I use what I have? How do I put to good use my talents, skills, and abilities? Uh, how uh, is my bottom line, so to speak, being affected by what I'm doing or not doing? So it's getting back to basics. That's what this is. And being very, very grounded. And here's that word again, practical. And we had the Virgo emphasis in the cards we just pulled. So you got a lot of earth emphasis coming out in this reading also. So get back to basics. Good old fashioned lists, checklists of things, journaling. You know, figuring all of this out, making a pro and con list to help make the decisions of, you know, what you're going to do next for this plan. Uh, you know, consulting with, with practical advisors in your world, like tax accountants, lawyers, um, marketing professionals, you know, a, a virtual assistant, whatever. You know, people who can give you the sound practical advice you need to make forward progress in the year ahead. This is a great month, I feel, for you to really get yourself uh, on the right path, to regroup so that you'll have a, a, a very strong year of success, Libra. All right, let's tap into the energies a little bit more and see how you can use them for the month ahead. Planning really is a foundation for success. This card fell out. Look again, the seven of coins. This is key to your month ahead. The seven of coins, really reassessing what you have manifested and what you still want to manifest in the, in the year ahead. All right. All right. Let's see what else we have. Intr I love when energies repeat like that. They give us a very strong message. All right, we have judgment and we have the nine of wands, okay? The high priestess, there's your February again. The eight of coins and the nine of cups. See, beautiful. All right, so you're going to get your wish. You're going to get your wish or whatever it is that you want to manifest in the year ahead. 
And we have the beautiful judgment card here, which is on the 20th, which is the beginning of Aquarius season. So you're gearing up really to make a decision to uncover high priestess with your, you know, intuition and your inner guides of what do you want to spend all of your energy on? Maybe for the first uh, eight weeks, you know, February and March, let's say with the eight of coins here. All right, eight, nine weeks from February. So February, March energies. You're going to figure that out this month, maybe around the 20th. Again, you may start working on some new plan as of the 20th with this judgment here. Um, but allow your subconscious and your intuition to uncover the details. As I was saying before, it is about the practical steps, details, structures, you know, all that Capricorn stuff, architecture, professionals who can help you, all of those things. Uh, around the 20th, somebody may be coming kind of out of the woodwork, so to speak, uh, who could be a valuable ally and guide in those areas, as I was saying. So, you know, you're very committed to making a, an extremely positive change in your life for the year ahead. And I do feel a very, very beautiful wish can be uh, manifested for you through your hard work and concentrated efforts. You are not afraid of working hard. We know that. Here's the nine of wands here. Um, but I would also say that it's not just going to be about hard graft in the year ahead. It's going to be about working smarter, not harder. And maybe last year it was all about just the grind, the nine of wands. But I think what this energy is also saying that this planning, this assessment and planning is going to be key to you shifting the energies from that, that grind to one of more enjoyment, ease and flow. You don't have to work harder you just have to work smarter and i think that's what this reassessment period can give you libra is the insights here's the high priestess you can uncover some deep insights of how you can streamline things for yourself and use your efforts to greater advantage and you will be making some decisions in that regard so you you know it depends on your situation you could be uh you know getting rid of uh, certain products and services you've already been offering in your business you may be deciding you only want uh you know this handful of clients you're going to get rid of some clients who are problematic and drain too much of your energy it can be all those types of things professionals to help you as i said before whatever it is this is about streamlining and so that you can really Focus on what's important, which is what you do best. Here's you, here's you working at your workbench here. So, and not getting drained by, you know, other people's shenanigans. So interesting, but allow yourself with the hermit and now the high priestess here. There is something here about going within, spending quite some quiet time to really listen to what your intuition and your heart and soul is telling you about what needs to be pruned and what needs to be adjusted in your life. So, you know, make sure you allow yourself time for that process. All right, Libras, let's pull a manifestation energy for you. I like that nine of cups that showed up. Very positive. I think by the end of Pisces season, you could manifest something really very nice in your money, career, and business life. This month is, like I said, more about the planning and the strategy. So it could, you know, that nine of cups really could be anything you're working toward. All right. So what do we have here? This beautiful tree. When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, a clear direction, and great wisdom. What was I just saying about the high priestess and the hermit card? <laughs> so further corroboration. When I connect to the spiritual realm, I open the door to receive divine guidance, clear direction, and great wisdom. So that is a very, very strong corroborating message for you, Libra, to not skip that step. <laughs> okay, I know, I know many of us, when we start 2022, we are impatient to just start manifesting all sorts of exciting things. And good things take time and good things take, uh, you know, some planning and some uh, 
spiritual insights to make sure that you are on exactly the aligned path for you. So Libras, let me know in the comments what you plan on manifesting in the year ahead. What are you going to be looking toward uh, clearing out of your life? What are you looking toward uh, maybe focusing more on with your money, career, and business life? And uh, I'd love to hear. All right. So leave me a comment. Let me know. I hope you guys have a great month ahead. I love you. I know that uh, you're going to do beautiful things in 2022. Take care. I will see you again soon. Stella Wilde signing out.